Congratulations. Thanks, you too. <laughs> Freaking Hesper just out of nowhere. Uh, end of the road. Hey, party people. Nice seeing you all again so soon. It's like it was just the day before yesterday or something. It's nice to see you too, Jerkit. You know what you are, Shiloh? You're like that little puppy who's always happy to see their owner come home. If that puppy was just pretending to be happy to get more treats. Alright, so everyone's here now, which means we can get started. Started with what? Good question. I thought it might be fun if we went into town together. What are we supposed to do there? That'll be up to you. I vote for staying here. Sorry, that's not an option. Does anyone have a suggestion of somewhere they'd like to go or something they'd like to do? Uh, are you really allowed to take this meeting off campus? Yes, we've officially got permission. Cool, I'm ready to hit the town. We should go down Main Street. I veto that idea. Well, we can visit more than one place. And I veto that idea. No vetoing of ideas. You said I couldn't vote to stay here. Okay then, only I'm allowed to veto ideas. If you're taking that stance, why even pretend this is a democracy? Just pick yourself. Boy, I think this group is one ten short of a circus. Nice. Who the fuck says that? Please settle down, everyone. Let's all try to cooperate one last time. Come on now, Lynn. Subtly reminding us that this is the final meeting is not going to make a difference in how we behave. Nice attempt, at least. And hey, it looks like my idea is what we're going with since no one else has any. Not everyone has had a chance to make a suggestion. If anyone has a different idea, please let us know now. And no saying things you don't want to do. Hmm. We could stop by somewhere and relax while getting something to eat. Alright, good. We can still use more suggestions. Let's see a movie, then we won't have to talk to each other. <laughs> okay. Any others? So, going down Main Street, getting something to eat, and seeing a movie. Yes, I think that's good. No need for a vote. We all know the movie will win. You're right. We don't need a vote because we're going to do all of those. Fuck no! That's gonna take hours! Oh, shut your face, Everett. This is gonna be great. Yeah, sounds fun. It sounds like... Oh, that's Bay. It sounds like more fun than I can handle. Sigh, you topped yourself again. Go ahead. It doesn't matter to me. Who is going to pay for all these activities? I will. For all eight of us? Yes. Aw, that's so sweet, Lynn. I can pay for myself, though. Same. It's fine if anyone wants to pay for themselves. I just don't want anyone to worry about that. So either way, it's taken care of. We'll go down Main Street to get to the theater, and after that, we'll stop off somewhere close to get something to eat before returning to the school. Now let's get going. We're not going to discuss it anymore. Ah. Uh. Strutting down the street with my crew, I'm feeling good. Ah, uh, is this really all you wanted to do here? No, we can browse and stuff. It better just be browsing. If she wants to get something, she can get something. This is supposed to be fun, not some kind of race. That was a stupid comparison, but personally, I fucking hate racing, so I can't say it's totally wrong. Does anyone here like racing? Mm, I kinda like racing. Huh, wow, so it really was a dumb analogy. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Oh well, you're still right though. If I want to stop by someplace, I'm gonna do it. Why? What could you possibly need right now? I need as much time with my beloved group as possible, that's what. Aw, I was afraid that's what you were gonna say. It's nice to all spend time together, I think. But we do have to return to the school before the sun starts going down, so we can't take too long here. Weak. Hey, I know what would make this better. We don't want to know. Let's all link arms. I was just thinking that. You really are insane, aren't you? I'll link arms with you. 
Is the street even wide enough for eight of us to walk in a line? Who cares about that part? Most of us would rather get kicked in the balls than do, do that. <laughs> How about we just keep walking instead? You guys are such killjoys. Yep. We tried. Oh, it's nice to be in air conditioning again. Alright everyone, I'm glad we made it. Now I'm going to check what movies are playing soon. If there isn't anything playing soon, can we leave? Yes. Really? Fingers crossed. I'll be right back. If you plan on getting any snacks, please start thinking about what you'll be getting now. We don't want to hold up the line. Are you paying for those, too? No. Ha! <laughs> he draws the line somewhere. Okay, it seems there are two movies starting shortly. Or either of them horror movies? No. Aw, oh, that's too bad. You're telling me. How can I have an excuse to latch onto a guy now? Yeah, it's a fucking tragedy. What are the movies, Lynn? There's The Truest Final Decision, a drama tragedy about a normal family. That sounds boring as shit. What else? There's also Coming Up Woodchuck, an animated comedy about a groundhog. How dreadful. Well, the movies do get out right around the same time. We don't necessarily have to see the same things, as long as everyone promises not to sneak away if I'm not in the same room. I'll go in whatever movie you don't, Lynn, and make sure they all stay. <laughs> it's settled, then. I'm thinking of seeing the first movie. Anyone else? Uh, I am too. The thought of seeing a movie about a f***ing groundhog makes me gag. Do you mind if I see that one, Lynn? That's fine, Shiloh. I'll change my choice, then. Is anyone seeing the comedy? Uh, I'm gonna see the groundhog one, and Pran is too. Same. <laughs> really, Nate? You wanna watch a groundhog movie? Yes. Watching a groundhog make stupid choices will be far less infuriating than watching what's supposed to be normal people doing it. Maybe they'll make good choices. I'm not taking that risk. Fair enough. I'm gonna see. I think Everett said, uh, the first one, because he didn't like the woodchuck idea. Yep. Cool. Could I maybe sit next to you? We'll see. Do any of you boys cry during sad movies? No. Hell no. Maybe. Sheesh, it's okay to get emotional sometimes. Isn't that right, Nate? Why are you bringing me up? No reason. Well, with everyone decided, let's get in line. We don't want to miss the beginnings. Of course not. It would be such a tragedy. In fact, I'm surprised no one has made a movie about the kind of situation already. So funny. Why don't you try writing stupid Animal Kid movies, Antichrist? You'd fit right in. No, thank you, Twinkle. There are better ways I can spend my time. Welcome back, everyone. How is your movie? Fucking awful. It was... quaint. I thought it was pretty sad. I wish they could have worked out their problems and stayed together as a family. Whoa, way to ruin the movie, Shiloh. Some people here could have been planning on seeing it later. I'm sorry. You're right. What was I thinking? Please, you'd be better off watching a literal pile of garbage. Speaking of which, how was that crappy kid movie? It was cute. I didn't like it. I don't enjoy that genre of movie, so that's one thing. But for what it was meant to be, it still didn't do a good enough job. I would never take a child to see it. The script seems like it was written in a day, and the visuals were equally generic. Um, it was unexpected. I didn't expect Chucky to go to ancient Rome. Seriously? There was time travel in that movie? Well, probably not, but how should I know? I was asleep for most of it. How lucky for you, Ducky. Haha, <laughs> I had fun in my movie. Everett not even trying to hide the fact that his phone was out the entire running time. Shiloh pretending to care about those losers' struggles. And Bay speaking out loud his advice to fictional characters in a movie. Very enjoyable. There were, like, two other people in that theater. 
Like, I was gonna give a fuck. I am so sorry if that distracted you from the wonderful story. I am compelled to give suggestions when I can. But I really did feel bad for them. <laughs> sure. Now, um, thank you all. I imagine we're getting hungry, so let's make our last stop of the day. Where are we going, Lynn? Somewhere close to here in the school. Good choice. What is that exactly? We'll see. Oh my. I haven't been here in forever. Um, isn't there anywhere else we can go? I was able to avoid this place for years. That is very unfortunate. However, this was the closest option and I am done walking. We just spent forever sitting in a movie theater. I think you're gonna be alright. I hate this place. This is what Lynn decided. You guys should all stop complaining. Let's not start an argument either. How about we just order, okay? Fine with me. I'll start. I don't think this table was meant for eight people. Seriously, do we really have to all sit at the same spot? Yes. Ha, uh, it's almost over. It's almost over. I still don't eat fast food. That is a shame, Pranny. But there was no way we could have known that. Um. He told us back during the overnight trip. You remember that, Sweet Pea. Unfortunately. If I was lucky, I'd be able to forget the entire thing. Why do you always gotta be such a baby? That trip was one of the highlights of my life. Ah, uh, yes, he is a pinch dramatic. But I am so pleased he seems to be acting normally again. Excuse me. You've just been uncharacteristically quiet today, Twinkle. You don't know anything about my character. Okay, let's all leave Nate alone. We know he's depressed about graduating. You know, even if I did believe you were capable of leaving an upset person alone, there's no need because I'm fine. I'm always fine. Dramatic and ungrateful. Can we end this fucking conversation already? Yes, let's not talk about that. There's plenty we could talk about just with what happened today. Ugh, that's a shitty topic too. Why'd you make us do so much garbage? Ah, well, I thought it'd be fun. That's really it? That's seriously as far as you got thinking that idea through? Mm, truthfully, I was worried we'd only discuss the coming graduation if we stayed at the school. That's important, but everyone needs a break every now and then. Cool. Now we know and we're moving on. Seriously, we need to stop getting on that topic. It's not what I want to talk about either. What a coincidence. That's exactly what I do want to talk about. No one cares what you want, Antichrist. Ah, uh, you're gonna be outvoted anyway, so you might as well not bother. Like you think anything is worth bothering. He's got a point this time, leave it alone. Pfft, fine. Maybe we should have let Nate be the supervisor. At least he could have kept Everett in place. First, if Nate was the supervisor, he would have let us done, I don't know, things that were actually cool so I wouldn't have had to complain. Second, fuck you. That smile. Calm down, everyone knows if someone other than Lynn got to be a supervisor, it would have been me. Uh, why? You're not exactly qualified. And Nate is? I'm more qualified than you, at least. In what way? Probably every way. Definitely every way. Please, say that once you can have a conversation with Bay without getting riled up. She has a point, Gumdrops. We certainly couldn't have had a supervisor who'd storm out the room if he got a little upset over how I choose to phrase things. I never would have just walked out. The meetings are school mandated. As I said, you know nothing about me. It was only a joke, Cookie. And if it wasn't required? We all know the answer to that. Really, Nate? After all this time, our little group hasn't grown on you at all. No, it hasn't. Fucking same. What about the rest of you? Do any of you like the group more now than when we started? <laughs> no. Yeah, I do. Um, not really. I like it less somehow. Of course I like this group. 
Now let me guess, you're gonna say we're all such liars except for Lynn and Shiloh. I don't have to. I know that you know that I know you're lying. I'm so sick of you guys and your endless pride. Ha, huh, that's rich coming from you. If you're so sick of us, I guess that means you're happy this is over too. Let's not get carried away. I am a big enough gal to admit that I will miss you all. Now, even if you can't bring yourself to say you'll miss the group, I'm sure you don't mind saying you'll miss me specifically. Of course we'll all miss you, Jerkit. Yeah, looking at their faces, I get the exact same impression. What douches? Well, there is some comfort in knowing some things never change, right? Uh-huh. Sure. And it's not like anyone with a brain ever would have expected much more than this from these people. It's literally the last f***ing second, but at least you finally got that. Better late than never. Sheesh, you guys are way too harsh. You can't even be nice for one day. You know, that's alright, Sugar Plum. I mean this in the nicest way, but whatever you're about to say isn't going to matter. Ugh. Aw, oh, none of this matters. Aw, come on, you guys. You must have known I was just kidding. This is the best after-school group a girl could ask for. I'm glad you think so. Ugh. God. I feel the same way. That's lovely, Starfish. Whatever. I don't care. I heart you all too. Ah, <sighs> this sucks. Mm hmm, I totally hear you. Come on, Shorty. Even you can do better than that, probably. Do something to make me feel better. You're just gonna say nothing will help. Why bother? I might not have. Besides, that's what boyfriends are for. Right. What's that face for? Yeah, so... we need to talk. Oh, do we? Yep. I've been thinking and all, and since we're gonna be going to different places and crap, we should probably break up. Sorry. How dare you. You're seriously bringing that up now when I'm so upset. I'm bringing it up now cuz you're so upset. We've only got, like, a week left. If I saved it, you wouldn't- you would've felt better and then gotten your mood ruined all over again in a minute. You're welcome. <laughs> I can always count on Mr. Nice Guy. Right. So, you got it, and we're cool? You can end things here amicably to get the friendship ending scene, or continue the relationship to get the boyfriend ending scene. Well, you know what? Heck you, Everett Gray. <laughs> Um, I will come here to get your friendship ending one day, but for now, I have invested too much time into this, so... Hell no, we're staying together. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's, uh, that's Everett. Are you kidding me? You actually want to do the long distance thing? That's right, it's you and me, baby. Well, that's just gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm sure we can work out some terms to make us both happy. You've been doing the long distance thing with your mom for years. I'm leaving you. No, you're not. I'm the decision maker in this relationship. The more you make a fuss, the more you'll seem like a drama queen when you inevitably give in. Oh, can't you let it go? What do you think there is for me after I leave? I'll tell you. It's nothing. I have no future, so just leave me alone. Oh, no! He's like, I don't want to bring you down. You do love her. What the hell? I knew you were nervous about entering the real world, but I didn't think it had gotten this bad. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to talk about it. Sheesh. One of these days, you really gotta learn how to tackle a problem in a way besides ignoring it until it happens. Wow, thanks. I'll totally keep that in mind for the future. That doesn't change anything, you know. Ah, chin up, shorty. Tons of people think their life is going to end after they graduate high school, but things are just getting good. For example, I can imagine plenty of stuff that could happen between the two of us once we're free of the restrictive label that is just a couple of high school students, if you know what I mean. Hint, hint. 
I'm talking about sexy stuff. <laughs> Let me spell it out for you. <laughs> yeah, I got the message. Good. I hope you feel better. Mm-hmm. That gave me, like, a whole new perspective on my entire life. Thought it would. So, are you still my boyfriend or what? I guess so. Obviously, you need me way too much. <laughs> Definitely. That was sweet! That, that warmed me heart. It really did. I am pumped. Are you ready for the end of the week, Jerkat? Sure. I just keep running into random people now. Hey, Lynn. I'm gonna be sitting in here today. You have to let me. School is almost over forever. Alright, one last time. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! So, congratulations on graduating, Jerkat. I hope you had a wonderful time here at St. Cyrabelle these past two years. It was a joy having you here. Ha! Huh. Wow, took you long enough to say that. It's the middle of the week already. I congratulated you in our last meeting. Come on, that wasn't personal at all. What kind of friend are you? I'm sorry, this is a very busy time for us faculty members. Excuses. Everybody's busy. You didn't make time to congratulate me personally because you suck and are a jerklin. Well, I did send a letter. Please, I got no such letter. Are you sure? Your name is Mason? You're the Mason! <laughs> That's what you meant about your your first name sounds like a, a professional job. I thought when I was reading it, it sounded like the way you talk. But then I was signed Mason, and I was very confused. Well, I know what I have to... I gotta go and do some post-editing stuff with that video. <laughs> Yes. Unless... You're Mason? That was my letter. <laughs> That's how you decide to tell me your first name? Through a letter? I feel a little odd saying it out loud, but I did want you to know. That's so cute, Mason. Mm, please don't call me that when other people are around. I prefer being called Lynn. Ha, like hell would I tell anyone else? I'm the only one who gets to know. Technically, you're not the only one who knows. Have you told any of the other students? No. Good enough, then. I'm the favorite, and don't even pretend like I'm not. <laughs> yes, you and your groupmates are my favorites. Even if I get to supervise a new group, no one will be able to replace you all. Of course you had to bring them up, too. Sorry. No, it's alright. I get that you're just a shy little mason who's too nervous to admit how special I am to you. Um... Anyways, you and I have to keep in touch. We've already got each other's numbers, so you better reply when I message you. I'll try. Not good enough. Alright, I will reply. That's better. I wouldn't know what to do if I stopped seeing your name pop up on my phone. I know how you feel, but don't spend too much time chatting with me. You need to make new friends in your new place. Oh, brother, I will. Perfect. I look forward to hearing about them. Yeah, yeah. I really will miss having you around, Jerkit. It won't be the same. I know that. But you're not going anywhere, so I can always see you around if I feel like visiting my old stomping grounds. That'd make me happy. Don't mention it, Lynn. I would have done it even if you told me not to come back. I expected no less. <laughs> so you were Mason. I didn't connect the dots. That's gonna be funny, because I'm gonna in post edit in his voice for the letter. And then afterwards, current me at the time will be like, Who the heck is Mason? <laughs> we'll keep in touch, okay? Possibly. Alright, certain click members are like, are gonna miss me around here for some reason. Graduation. Ah, <sighs> today's the day. It really doesn't feel like it's been almost two years already. I really should have pushed my parents harder. Three or four years in a boarding school would have been way better. Too late for that now, though. 
still, I definitely made the right choice coming here. Use the code hurry up at Kayla's shop to get 20 Swiffy Taffies in your inventory. Nice. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about going back, I just remembered how much lamer my old town was. It doesn't have half as many fun places to go as this place. Use the code who needs rel. I did that. Whoa, hold the phone. When did I get this much cash? Hey girl, I've been looking out for you. Don't worry. I'm gonna have to think of something cool to spend this on before mom and dad find out about it. I wonder if I could take a mini vacation or something. Take your boyfriend. Use the code I deserve the money. The code won't work if you don't own the paid complete. I do. Use the code easy way best way to get 500 affection points in Ephra. The easy way is best way. Hey bitch, I'm here. Excuse me, shorty. Wow, what the hell was that greeting? I'm doing something real nice going to graduation with you instead of my friends. I had to even things out somehow. I didn't force you to say yes, you big baby. Yes, you did. Well, it's not my fault you do basically whatever anyone tells you to do. I can't be blamed for taking advantage of it. I'm so fucking sick of hearing that. I bet you are, but we shouldn't be fighting today. It's a special occasion. Doesn't that mean we should be fighting? That's what we've done on literally every other special occasion, and probably every time we've talked, period. It's like a tradition. You've got a point. Still, we need to get the show on the road already. Pick a fight with me once we get there. If I feel like it. Yeah, it's gonna happen. You can't go very long without being obnoxious. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's you. Okay, we're leaving now, shorty. What else? We didn't fight at prom. Man, I can't believe we're actually graduating. I can't believe we're actually still together. I can't believe I have to sneeze at the end of this. No! <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a complete let's play if I didn't have to sneeze. <sighs> How is that the bigger deal here? You're leaving the school you've been at since, we're, since you were born, pretty much. I'd be a wreck if I was in your position. Thanks for pointing that out. Are you trying to bring me down? It's the sad piano music in the background, my dude. I guess our talk a few days ago hasn't changed anything. Fuck off about that, it hasn't really sunk in and I'm trying not to think about it. Leave me in peace. Denial isn't healthy, shorty. You're sounding way too much like the Antichrist right now. Aw, don't bring up our group mates, now you're bringing me down. Please, the only good thing about all this is that I'm never gonna have to see most of their garbage faces ever again. How could you say that after all we've been through? Is this another of your coping methods? No, I can't stand those losers. Sure. But you know what I think? I think we're all gonna be friends forever. You're joking. Nope. Even with distance between us, our connection as groupmates will remain everlasting. Mercy. <laughs> okay, that's enough about that. There's something else I want to talk to you about. It better not be something stupid. Of course not. I just wanted to say I think things are gonna be alright. Huh? Mind explaining where that came from? And why I should care? I'm sure we were both wishing life at the school could go on forever. But I'm more grown up than you and have accepted the reality that this is over. And I can say that I'm happy with how things went and I'm looking forward to the future. With that said, I'm ready to continue on to the ceremony. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, we're gonna be meeting Nate at the place once we get there. I told him I was just gonna be walking you there and then I'd regroup with him. <sighs> I'm not even surprised. Is your mommy gonna be waiting for us too? Depends on when she's able to make it. That's wonderful. I can't wait to meet her in person. Just don't say anything shitty. And don't bother with the you're the one who needs to worry about that line. I'm not gonna. I'll let you have that, Shorty. You got me this time. <sighs> Thanks so much for the charity. I do what I can. Hopefully, I can build your self-esteem up high enough that someday you'll feel confident enough to make your own choices in life. Okay, fuck it. You want me to decide things? Fine, I'm deciding things. Let's stop walking. Do you plan on teleporting to the graduation ceremony? No, I plan on getting there when I get there. You want to be late? But your mom is waiting for you. 
Please, she's not gonna vanish. It's gonna be fucking stressful and depressing whenever we get there. Might as well take our time, relax at some of the old places, whatever. That's not a bad plan, actually. Duh. Yeah, yeah, don't get too carried away. Something is still missing. This is a special occasion, and that means something special is in order. Could you rub your two brain cells together to come up with an idea for that? Oh, damn, that's totally a hard one. I'm sure you can handle it. I believe in you, Shorty. Mm-hmm. Maybe I could give you a smooch. <laughs> I like the way you think. Truthfully, I'm starting to realize that maybe the reason I'm so drawn to you is because you're just like someone wonderful I know. Me. Wow. Hard to believe something that sucky is probably the biggest compliment you've ever given. I'll still take it. I'm great, and I guess it's whatever if you are too. Fantastic. Idea accepted, hot stuff. Woohoo! She just glomped onto him. Girl, I'm a kiss! Thanks for coming up with something, Everett. It was great. Yeah, you're welcome. You're lucky I put up with all your garbage for this long. I'm such a good guy. Of course, I wouldn't be dating you if you weren't. Ha, oh, so funny. No, your taste is shit. Nah, I've got a keeper. Whatevs. I can kinda say the same thing about you, since we're so similar and all that crap. Groovy. I love being fashionably late already. You're late every fucking day of your life. Not with you, though. Now lateness has never been so stylish. I love it. That's great. That is a good compliment. Ugh, fuck. Since when did you flatter people? Since today. The plan is to have you follow my lead, as always, and start complimenting me uh, better. <laughs> I hear you. Just keep it coming. It'll totally work eventually. That may be sarcastic, but I agree. Hey, do you think we have time to make out in our old meeting room? I always wanted to do that. Hell yes, we do. We've got all the time in the world. Excellent point. You are so intelligent and handsome. You know it, jerk it. I do. And what else I know is that this is the start of beautiful things. Decisive. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's the achievement I got for Everett. Yeah, okay. You and me, we're onto something. Not sure exactly what it is, but fuck it. Who cares? Aww. He's got his phone! <laughs> He's got his little flip phone! <laughs> Hooray! We did it! We did it, everybody! Holy mackerel. That was a long route, but we finally got some sweetness right at the end. Ah, oh, my heart. My heart feels so, so warm inside. Never did get to see what your mom looked like, but you know what? I'll take the smooch. I got my smooch CG. I got my sweet nothings. I got you guys going the long haul. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of all y'all. <sighs> that was great. I love it. I love those two. They they are super similar. I'm really curious to see what the uh, like what our interactions will be with the other guys when we get to them. Especially Pran. He talks the most with us, which is very interesting to me. But, yeah. I can't wait to get to know everybody. This is a great game. I didn't get to be friends with Missy and Alicia this time, so I'll have to try and do that next time. My next time through, I will spend more time with my girls. But I loved all the little goodbyes to everybody. That was super cute. I'm just gonna jam to some tunes. Thank you for playing. Thank you for the great game. This is so cute. I love the writing in this. Okay, we did it! 
Well, guys, that is Everett's romantic boyfriend ending, whatever you want to call it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me on this very long ride. It's been a really fun ride. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, but anyway, so we did that. There are two more things I want to do with Everett, though, before we move on to our new, new game. Um, he's got a friendship ending. I'm gonna be doing that last. The next thing I'm going to be doing for him is there's a confession scene you can get with him. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of affection with this boy and not to... I can't remember if I can take him out on dates or not. Oh yeah, I can take him out on dates. I just can't have him as my official boyfriend. And then at the end of the year, he will confess to me. So I want to see what a confession from Everett is like. So if you're interested in seeing what that looks like too, I hope I'll see you then, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until then, I will see you later.